Hey everybody and welcome to another Jamovi video. In this tutorial I wanted to go ahead and expand on some of the basic properties of the uh, program itself before we jump into any uh, tutorials about analyses and that sort of thing. Uh, so before we start, before we start I wanted to let everyone know that um, as the uh, title suggests as well as the thumbnail that I am using version 1.6.3 which is Jamovi's newest version and um, one of the cool things about this version that you may not fully see in 1.2.27 is what I want to talk about in this video and that is the edit the results edit so I'm gonna go ahead and open up a data file that we can play around with. Okay, so here we have um, a simple correlation uh, with uh, acceptance rates and set sizes. I just plug those in. Um, it's not the it, this isn't a very good uh, <laughs> data file, uh, but there is a an R value here and a P value here, and we're just gonna go with it. Now the interesting thing is is that uh, these uh, blanks here are listwise deleted, so it's only taking the data from these. So I thought that's pretty good. Okay, so let's go to edit because I want to mess with stuff in here. So you can see here how you have a full suite, uh, especially from this side going left. We have clipboard, we have edits, undos and redos. We have uh, font changing, and we have paragraph changing, and then we have some uh, different stuff here to the to the right. When you go into edit and you have your results uh, here, you have uh, fields that you can write in that are highlighted, which I think are amazing. Okay, so besides, you know, like I want to, you know, double click on that, and I want to, uh, you know, write something and say. Uh, this is <clears throat> set size acceptance rate. Okay, and then I highlight that, and I can make it bold. I can highlight it uh, yellow, and I can make the font blue if I really wanted to to match the this blue in here. And highlight would make it pop out, and you know I can also uh, make it write justified, I can indent it, uh, you know, all of these things. So oh, let me go ahead and indent it. There we go. And I can number it. And uh, it looks like it defaults to the ABC lowercase kind of kind of thing. So that's really cool. Uh, and then I can click on here and I can add in some code. And this would be really useful if you were going to, say, uh, do this in uh, R. So data data table. I don't really didn't have anything planned here for that. But so in any case, you can add in uh, a code for this. If you didn't want to go into R mode, you can try to practice your coding here or add in a different code. Uh, a, a set of set of codes to then transfer maybe this correlation matrix into R that might be useful too. So you can add in, you know, whatever you want here. Um, you can add in some headings. <clears throat> you can add in another heading here. Uh, initial core, right? And so heading one is what is generated by uh, the program itself so those aren't you cannot modify them so the only thing you can do is and maybe add to them one um, but then you can add in a second heading which is a small which is a larger uh, set of text than the basic text so that's pretty cool um, and the other thing you can do is you can add in you can add in a link. So HTTPS. I'm just going to add in my website here. <laughs> um, take a look at that if you want to. Uh, SwanPsych.com. Add in, make it a link. 
uh, enter link EPS. Now, I added the link. I could change the text, I suppose, to um, anything, but you can add in this text here, or add in the that, and it makes it a link, and it's a clickable link. And so if you were to export this to Word or a PDF or something like that, the uh, link would stay with the infra with the the letters and then you will have a clickable link in your pdf or your uh your your P uh, your word document and i think the the coolest thing about this one is say you need to com that specifically with correlations here say you want to do a fisher z test to compare if two um pearson correlation values some there are values are significantly different from one another. You could put in the link to your Fisher Z calculator, which is not something that uh, Jamovi here is going to be able to do. Uh, I haven't come across a spreadsheet a statistics uh, package that natively does a Fisher Z test. So you could put the link in there and be like, okay, I'm going to, so I'm going to send this off to. I'm going to send this this results bit off to my collaborator, and they can they can run the Fisher Z test and plop a plop a link right in there. I think this is being able to do this is is really really crucial. Uh, the other thing that I I want to do is I want to show you formulas, so you can enter in a formula, and I'm going to do E equals M C squared because um, it asked me to. So up carrot. And you can enter that in, and look at that. It makes it into um, formula mode, sort of like adding in an equation in Word. In in Word, you can add in a, a bunch of stuff, and it will uh, it will make it all fancified. It'll make it this blue color. It will italicize it, and it knows the up caret. Uh, you know, shift six. To make that squared, but you can also, I suppose, use the superscript button over there. And these are all the things that you can now natively do. But only I mean, I must I must uh, state that this is a 1.6 feature. All, all of this new editing is a 1.6 feature. So my my video comparing Jasp and Jamovi from earlier in 2020 is sort of out of date now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and link that up in this uh, at, at the end of the video here, but that's what I wanted to show you in this video is how to change everything here. And if you right click on all of this, you can go to all and then copy, export, or remove. So if when you click on export, it'll bring up um, you can for you can uh, export it as a PDF. You can export it as HTML, hypertext markup language, or you can um, copy it as a LaTeX bundle. Um, I don't use LaTeX, so uh, and I really want to call it LaTeX, but that's I know it's not pronounced like that. <laughs> but um, if if you wanted to modify it, I would say in Word, let's say I would save it as a PDF, and newer versions of Word can. Um, extract the information from a PDF and so you can use it like that okay so you can say where to put it and uh, yeah you're done and that's how you export it or like I said you can right click and go to all and then hit copy and then you can copy that directly into a Word document if you want to do it that way that's gonna be it for this tutorial video uh, thank you for watching please leave your comments feedback down below uh don't forget to don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more jamovi tutorial videos i appreciate the likes see you next time bye